Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, vlog series number two. Give y'all a quick rundown on where I'm at and what kind of complications and little scenarios and things that I've come across. Uh, one thing I can definitely say is that the instruction manual, yeah, that's for reference. -y. It skips so many things, it's ridiculous. So it's it's worthless, but I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a rundown of what I'm doing and what problems I ran into and all that good stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. Here we go. Whew, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, let me tell you what. This bike, it has been a real pain in the ass to put together so far I got the motor and the tank kind of mounted and the throttle and I'm working on the chain and the clutch uh, the car I mean uh, you know when I bought this kit it said that it fits universally any 26 inch mountain bike or beach cruiser but my bike is a hybrid it's a mixture of the two so every damn little thing has been you know a few inches off like everywhere it's all been a couple of inches off the down here when I mounted this I come to find out that I had it backwards so I had to take that off and redo it and I scratched the shit out of the thing in the process uh, the tank has to be mounted way over here but I can't do it because I can't use the mounts they provided because of this bar and then on top of that the, the little cap that screws on top of this now go-karts cars everything I know of you have to have that little silver cap on top of the spark plug guess what not on this you don't you have to take that cap off and able for the CDI to actually be mounted on that I'm telling you right now guys if y'all decide to get this kit and try to do this be prepared to do some serious modification work like I've had to make my own brackets I've had to cut these bolts five or six times to get them to fit um, what else is there the tank Oh yeah, the tank already has fucking rust in it. Brand new tank and it has rust in it. So I'm going to have to watch that out. They gave me barely enough fuel line to complete the task. Um, the carb sits in, but it sits in crooked because it hits the bar. So the motor sits too high. So I had to try to cut these rubber ballots out of the back to try to get it to work. See these little rubber spots? That's what keeps the vibration of the motor going. But it, it's, it's a real pain. And then if you come back here on the back side of the bike I got the chain it's a uh, 415 chain that's the size of it I'm trying to get it lined up with the motor as y'all can kind of see but I can't do none of that until I get the damn a chain ripper or something so I can put the chain on see I got the cover off right there and the sprocket and everything and I still got to put a rear fender on and the front tire and of course I got this whole damn box of confusion and parts and just everything it's definitely been a a daunting challenge uh, a long time ago I was riding the bike and this part right here came loose and I busted my ass so ever since then I've JB weld the inside of these bikes so that way this part don't ever come out on me especially if I'm doing 40 miles an hour uh, Loctite is a key um, so this was another kind of configuration as you can see I have to have the throttle the, the gear shifter and the brake here so I got this ungodly huge ordeal going on and that right there is eventually going to um, I think what I'm gonna do guys is I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it together completely put it together play with it run it get the kinks knocked out of it and then slowly add a little bit to it so that way 
I can have something fast to ride. And I'm going to sell it eventually. I'm going to turn around and sell it. So that way, I mean, after all, that was the whole point of this project was for me to, you know, make money off of it, but have fun doing it at the same time. Uh, I mean, my fingers hurt from constantly unscrewing and rescrewing and unscrewing and rescrewing and forgetting the lock washer and forgetting this washer and just all this crazy little knickknacks and stuff. But my room, as y'all can see, is an absolute mess. It's messier in hell right now, but I gotta get it cleaned up. Um, I need to get a chain ripper. Let's see here, where am I at right now with this project? Uh, let's see here. I got to make a mount, my own mount for the gas tank because the current mount that I got is just not working. So I got to make my own little mount. And I got this, uh, where is it at? I got this right here. This kind of stuff. This is what I'm going to use to make a mount. It's basically just going to fit up up inside there. I can mount it too. That's basically what I did for this one because the brackets that they sent me just don't fit. My tube down here is about an is about a half inch too wide, which the guy told me that if I need to, I can either drill a hole through it and run a bolt, or I can take a torch and heat the frame up a little and try to dent it a little to where it would be it would accept it, but I don't want to compromise the frame in any way. And I'm afraid that if I heat it and misshape the tube then I'm going to compromise the integrity of the bike and guys I really don't want to do that especially if I'm going 25 30 miles an hour down the street like I've busted my ass on a you know on a bicycle doing 15 miles an hour and that shit hurts so I'm definitely not going to do it on this thing but I would have to say this thing it definitely has a sexy appeal and that's the appeal that I'm going for and I cannot wait to ride this thing guys man uh, make sure you guys, you know, leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. You know, I need y'all support on this. I I appreciate you guys helping me out with it. Um, so that's it, guys. So what do y'all think? You uh, you think it's definitely worth the trouble? You think the payout at the end is going to be worth all the sore fingers and countless hours of aggravation that's going to go into this project? I hope so. Smash it a like, guys, if y'all think it's worth it. And make sure y'all subscribe. And as always, check us out on Facebook. And you guys be cool. Peace. Tech PCs out.